Uh, cool. Great. Well, we are going to uh, plow ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Our next film uh, is called Header. Please welcome Header to your screens, folks. That was Header. Big round of applause. Um, folks, we are uh, now lucky enough to have Mark with us. Mark is a new filmmaker with a passion for films that inspire self-reflection. And this is Mark's graduation film, if you can believe it. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, please welcome Mark Kuhlman. Yay. Hello, everybody. Thank you for having me. No props. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, so, yes, we were... As I was saying to you just then, we were we were blown away, particularly as a graduation film, whatever. And you being such a um, young guy, it's uh, very yeah, full full work, very full work. Thank you. Um, so you used internal conflict in this very well in order to draw us into a situation uh, and make us invo uh, invested emotionally into a situation which we might not otherwise superficially identify with. Um, now, this film accesses universal issues about competition, family, etc. So you really got a universal universality from this context, which maybe, you know, not all of us have gone swimming in holiday resorts or whatever, but we all got something, yeah. you know, it all connected <laughs> with us. So yeah. you use this internal drama to do this. How did you accomplish this? Was this deliberate? Just Can you just walk us through your, your mindset on that? I mean, it all started with the final sequence that I really had it in my mind mm -hmm. because um, it's based on a true story that my, my uncle and my dad actually had this duel, so to say. Uh -huh. So in this very pool, um, the situation happened and I always found that very last moment really interesting because you can really stretch it after you've built up those yeah, stitches, needle stitches throughout a certain, I don't know, maybe two or three hours, whatever that afternoon took. Mm -hmm. And then from that on, um, really great inspiration was another short movie by Pascal Reimann, which is Swiss. It was called Millimeter. And there it's also with children. And it's really scene after scene that you get this, uh, this stickiness that something is off, but you don't really know how. And and he built it really, really subtly. And that gave me, so to say, set the tone of what I wanted to do. And then, yeah, it's it's really slow, but I wanted it to, to kind of stretch it as much as possible to say, okay, what's going to, like, is it eventually happening or not? Because if something has happened, it's not the question. It's just when. So the, yeah. this build is was very intentional then is what you're saying and you were because we we noticed that you you know it's very meticulously very elegantly built build you know the build yeah. of this uh agony so that was yeah a, you're saying that was very intentional i mean it could have i i played around with thoughts okay i could have made it shorter uh, even but i really wanted to i don't know it was it was always the goal to make it really slow yeah yeah. And really, really, and therefore maybe also, yeah, I don't know. I mean, in the, the beginning, it also got shorter. It was even longer than it was, but then there, I, I went too far. I was like, this is actually not what I wanted. So, mm. yeah, I think. Nice. Well, you achieved the effect. Uh, Erafili is going to come and join us for the second question. Erafili, miss you. Yeah. Ella. Hello, Mark. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, honey. I agree. Your I'm room great. is looking as uh, tidy and meticulous as your film. I think it must be your personality. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, people are loving your film. We have a lot of comments. Um, mostly are saying the same thing. I mean, they're really empathizing with your protagonist. Um, a lot of them are saying that they're feeling anxiety. 
And we have a recurring question. Uh, Phil, uh, no, mm -hmm. James is asking, and Aki, they're both very good actors and are friends. Uh, is if it's based on a personal experience, if you have any siblings? I have siblings. Yeah, I have one brother, um, but I actually have quite a good relationship with him. Are you sure? <laughs> is that because he's is, watching the I show? Mean, Sorry? Is he watching right now? Is that why you say that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, um, he's not watching probably, I think. Um, but I mean, the what, what you said before in the beginning is why it's so universal. I think everybody, whether or not you have siblings, there's some kind of competition. And obviously when you take it into the familiar, in the familiar territory, the limit of com competitiveness when the law of one of the parents comes into comes into the equation makes it limitless you know and i i think i've had some fights with my brother not in the pool and we haven't done any headers but um it's it's like in every brother sister or sibling relationship you step over the line a bunch of times and only realize it after um so uh yeah i know what I you mean i want I, to kill my sister um, yeah. when I was younger, but now I love her very much. But you know, I definitely went through that stage. So cl you didn't? Why are you laughing? No, I just saw you crossing your fingers under the table. <laughs> so um, another question that we had, and actually Philip, uh, our friend, is asking. Uh, everybody says that it's very polished the film, that it doesn't look like a graduation film. Everyone mm. says that it really that it doesn't okay. sound and it doesn't look because usually you know they're rough around the edges. And um, do you have an answer to that? How did you achieve it? I know you are collaborating with the same cinematographer a lot. Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, the answer is the cinematographer. He uh, he took very good care of our. Even though we got some 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 financing that we make the maximum out of uh, our resources and. How we managed, especially we couldn't afford a lot of lighting equipment, even though we shot it in daylight, obviously in the summer. But we had so much issues with the weather changing two to three times a day that we we didn't really have time because we only had one light guy, so we only had one gaffer. We didn't have any assistance or anything. So our I'm I'm also impressed because we only used three mirrors to light it up, um, uh, and uh, yeah. The cameraman did an amazing job, even though we were a really small team, everybody moved, the actors uh, moved everything, the kids moved, moved the equipment in between takes because we had to reposition, so it really was teamwork and the, the uh, cameraman did an amazing job. So you know, what's your so name of your only... cinematographer, so we can give a virtual clap? What's your name? Felix, Sorry. Uh, his name is Felix Berman. Felix Berman. Yeah. That's a real clap, yeah. Okay, so I was trying to do an air horn. <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, cool, great. You cool? Yeah, I'm going back. Alrighty. You said bye, Mark. <laughs>